I'm gonna take my horse to the Uwubo. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. Welcome back to Sekiro with me and my wife, Anne. Woof, woof. In the last episode, we made it all the way to the main hall in Senpao Temple. And, well, before I do anything else, I want to spend my three skill points. At the end of the last episode, I had two skill points, about two and a half. So seeing that, I figured I should probably just kill some enemies and get it up to three. So I went ahead and did that off camera. Oh, right. I also got a bunch of money I got to spend on something. But as far as the skill point goes, I'm going to spend it on mid-air prosthetic tool. So I already have mid-air combat arts, but this is prosthetic tool now. And let's test it out. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. By the way, Marsh, I know this is nitpicky, but it's not. You keep pronouncing it like Senpao, but it's like Senpo. Senpo. Yeah. Okay. Same with Kyobu. The OU is just all. So Senpo. Senpo. This, like, bounces me back. I love this, like, like, this idea of, like, the wolf being just, like, a really petite man. And that's why there are all these enemies that are, like, super huge compared to you. They're just human beings. They're just bigger than you. And wolf is just actually kind of a petite, small man. <laughs> but I make up for it with the wolf's fang. Rawr. Is that a sex joke, Marshall? No, it honestly wasn't. I should have been. <laughs> so, I don't think this is ever actually going to happen, but you could theoretically use this, the fact that you bounce back, to actually stop yourself from, like, falling over an edge. Hmm. Because if I go forwards and then try to go backwards in midair, like air control, like, you can slow down, but you don't stop. With this, you stop. Yeah. <laughs> what if I hold it down in midair? Mm, that's the same thing. You, I guess you can't do the charge. Gouging top. Whoa, that's fast. It's like instant. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually like faster than doing it on the ground. Okay, I know I'm low on spirit emblems, so I should probably get a lot of those. I have 53. It's not bad. Let's get, like, another 50. Okay. But you gotta remember to keep buying them along the way. Yeah. Sorry, I ruined your jar. No, I can't romance him anymore. <laughs> oh, the Sabimaru memo. Pointless. Yep, I already have that. I guess I'll just get a couple heavy coin purses. Yeah. And then, I don't know, pacifying agent, sure. Yeah. Oh god. I destroyed everything of theirs. I just broke their box. Wow, now you're definitely not friends anymore. And the rest in spirit emblems got almost 100 in storage. Okay, there's a lot of different places we can go and a lot of different things we could do, but for now, I'm gonna go to the monkey place. You know the monkey place. Everyone knows the monkey place. Remember when there was like 50 million wolves that came down at the same time and there was just this pibbler patter of their feetsies? Yeah. Uh, sad. Sad but cute. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. I'm sorry, monkey. That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh. That monkey did not think it was very cool at all. That actually hurt quite a bit. Yeah, like emotionally. Yeah. Oh, 
right. That monkey was like laying down right in front of the yokai. Just chilling. Movement so interesting. Yeah. I think they might have been like looking at the monkey. Oh, relatable. Yeah. Remember when we went to the zoo and there was just this tiniest little monkey species? Yeah. Oh, I forgot what it was called. Aw, uh, me too, but they were so tiny. Literally would fit in your hand. Yeah. Ugh. Look at that. Pers look at all those persimmons. Why can't you grab them? I don't know. I grabbed one from down here, but I guess those aren't ripe. Huh. Just an item down on the ground. Oh, 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 yeah. I thought this might continue on, but no, this is just the other side. I've already been to the other side of this place. said this a lot at this area but fuck this game's pretty yeah I think this might be it huh yeah I guess there's no way to get up to where those monkeys were yeah the monkeys will keep their monkey party secrets yeah up there I want to be where the monkeys are Eating persimmon and having fleas <laughs> I don't know what monkeys do <laughs> I don't know either <laughs> Well, that's the end of Monkey Way Short and sweet Alright, now that I have so many of these pacifying agents Five on me, fourteen in storage uh, These are for counteracting terror I want to try one of the terror-based enemies. We have this... I guess it's a mini-boss? Yeah, there, there's a full health bar that appears on screen. So this is a mini-boss, and we also have the headless, which is a full proper boss. I want to try taking this one out. Because I don't know what you're supposed to do with terror enemies exactly. Um, so it reduces terror buildup and increases terror resistance for a time. So I should probably take it right now and just see how much terror I get. Yeah. Let's do that. I don't know how long it lasts. I'll and then, let you know whenever it runs out. Okay. And I guess I'm going to try to keep them on fire, because I know you gain terror when you're in that ring that they're standing in. So I want to do something that I can walk away from them and have it still do damage. Mm, I'm going to try to jump on him to do a death blow from above, like last time where I came up a little bit short. So let's just go and see what happens. Ah, don't untarget them. Wait, what? It just won't let you, huh? Oh, you should take the anti-terror stuff. Didn't I? You didn't. Oh. I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sort of like untargets them when I start sprinting for some weird reason. But I retargeted them in midair and I was like right on top of them and it still just didn't let me. Maybe it just won't let you. I think that's it, yeah. Game's just anti cheating. It's not cheating, but you know, it's kind of a cheapo move. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if that reached him. Jesus Christ. Mm. Oh, they're out of the ring.
Okay, they just won't catch on fire. Yeah. I mean, I could throw oil at them. Yeah. I don't yeah. have that in my bar right now. No, but I could put it on there. Oh, you need to take... It disappeared already? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to take more until I'm, like, more comfortable with the patterns in this fight. Yeah, that's fair. You only have 14. I'm not really sure what to do. Uh... I mean, I don't think blocking or deflecting is really a thing. Yeah, it super is not. I could just stay here forever. I did a charged up flame three times. I could cover them in oil. Maybe I could burn them once, but I doubt it's gonna do that much. Yeah. I think I just need to run and bash him when an opportunity arises. Like... Like that? Yeah. That did something. What the hell? What? Oh, I think just straight up damage killed me. Oh. Hmm. They seem to do... Like, I was doing a pretty good job at avoiding their attacks. They don't seem to do as extreme attacks when you're not far away from them. Hmm. Like, when I was close, they did more normal kind of attacks. Yeah. Maybe you just need to get them, like, out of that ring and then... Dance around them. Yeah. Okay, so flames out. Is there anything else? Firecracker? I doubt it. <laughs> I guess Mist Raven could always be useful. Let me see Gouging Top. What does this do? That did like nothing. <laughs> but it does float. I think the enemy does float sometimes though, doesn't it? Yes, that's true. I'll take the anti-terror stuff if I need it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I thought I had the gouging top on. They were floating, I wanted to... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. That didn't make that special noise that it usually does when they're in midair. Hmm. I don't think it does anything, really. Oh, they got that ring around him. Okay, now I need to take the anti-terror stuff. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna revive. Yeah. I don't know if I should take more. I've done such little vitality damage to them. Yeah. And I need to do this twice. I, I can't imagine any way to do this fight other than very, very slowly. Do you think there's an item I'm missing? Um, I don't know.
Their posture goes down really slow, though. I mean, like, recovers yeah. very, very slow. I keep thinking Ichimanji Double is gonna stun them, but it doesn't. They seem pretty much unstunnable. Yeah. And they don't seem to do any perilous attacks at all. Yeah. This enemy's very different. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'll see if I can just get one perilous attack. Or one death blow in, at least. Okay. Define confetti. Tell you. Made for driving away apparitions. Allowing attacks to connect with apparition type enemies. Should I try it? Just see. Maybe like just once to see like how what it does. I think that's better damage. Holy oh. shit. Oh, it does a million bits more damage. Holy shit, and also looks incredibly pretty. Yeah. What the hell? Did it disappeared? What the fuck? Uh. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. That's weird. I wish the description or the, the, the like feedback for these enemies was better. Yeah. It says it allows you to hit apparition type enemies, but I was hitting it before and it was doing damage. It just was doing real shit damage. Yeah. That that's bad. It shouldn't do anything at all. Like you should do literally no damage and that would totally communicate that hey, you need to do something else. Yeah. Or something. Damn, that's so I only have four more tries and then I can't do this fight basically <laughs> oh that's terrifying and if on this one I've used most of my stuff maybe you should use her oh, oh. oh anti-dare yeah Oh no, the Divine Confetti wore out. Oh. I don't think I should use another one. I have only one gourd. I wasted so much of the fight not using it. I believe you could do it. I believe in you. But... I don't. Okay. I don't. Then maybe you should just leave the arena and... rest. Oh, there's like a bunch of haze. I think, I think I should bone home. Bone home. I think I should die. All right. All right, let's try this again with my newfound knowledge. I'm not gonna use anything to begin with. I'm gonna wait till the ring disappears. Well, I guess it, no, no, it's appearing. Yeah, let's wait till they're more vulnerable. Until then, it's going to be Toho all the way. Here we go.
Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. I don't know how to avoid that. So cool though. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? What the it goes fuck? through rocks? Jeez. I guess it is an apparition type. <laughs> and one of our cats is hacking up a hairball in the background. It's okay. You gotta revive. Is my confetti gone? Yes. I'm gonna have to use like all my confetti just on this one fight. Yeah, but you know, you'll get more confetti. Oh my god. Jesus! Okay, cat stop hacking up a hairball. Back to the fight. Actually, maybe just take an anti-terror thing. Okay. Okay. God, I'm so terrified to do this. Because I have so few. I'm going to have to use probably all of them on this one fight. And if I die, then goodbye. <laughs> You'll get more. Eventually. Yeah. Oh, you. So close. Do you think I can block the beam? No. Wait, I think I just did. Did you, or did your anti-terror um, thing work? Well, it didn't do damage, so... I mean, it probably would have done a lot of terror to me if yeah. I didn't have the anti-terror, but it didn't do any damage, so that's definitely blocked. Okay. Come back here. Gone. Let's wait for a good opportunity. Right now is actually a good one. Do I need to take another anti tear? I don't think yet. Oh, fuck. Come on. Okay, you should definitely take another anti terror Oh, okay, you're definitely doing this. Okay. It's yeah. okay. Oh, fuck. It's almost dead, but I'm gonna use another one. I don't care. Yeah. All or nothing. Thank God I took everything I just did in that brief moment. Anti-tear and block, even though I didn't know where they were. Yes! Yes! Woo! Ceremonial Tonto. This is... I, I don't think this is a mini-boss. It doesn't feel like it. It definitely wasn't. It's like the, the bar, like, got moved to be, like, full screen, you know? Oh, did it? I didn't yeah. even pay attention. Ceremonial Tonto. Dagger with a stark white blade and hilt. Converts vitality into spirit emblems. Huh. 
Originally, this tonto was used in a ritual offering to the dragon in which an emblem would be cut from one's own life force and set adrift on the fountainhead waters. The blade is inscribed with its true name, Devoted Soul. Oh. So that's not a tool. No. It just converts your health into spirit emblems. Yeah. What's to stop you from just using it a million times and then resting and then using it and then resting? Maybe it doesn't like make spirit emblems that can like be stored. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. God, that looks so cool. Yeah. Well, now I definitely can't take the headless because I don't have any divine confetti. Yeah. So cool looking. Yeah. Beautiful. Also, just looks super fucking gay. <laughs> like that's there's that f effect on him right now. That's flaming homo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put some magic rice down here. Just yeah. to celebrate the victory. Yeah, so colorful. Yeah. All right, there's all these items. I mean, I might as well just go back. I can come back here super quick. Yeah. The boss isn't going to be there anymore. Let me just see if there's like a sculpture like right here. Oh, no. 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 I'm curious what that is, but no. No. Let's go back. Yeah, so the ceremonial tonto is an equipable item that I can put into a quick slot. And it says it has three to three uses. So I guess it comes back uh, with the, the uses when you rest. Let's try it out. So 16 at Spirit Emblems is the max. Let's use it. So I've got max health, 10 Spirit Emblems. Gave me five for about half my health bar. That's pretty damn good actually. Cause you can get that back with just one healing gourd. Hmm. So basically one healing gourd for five Oh, and you're right. Look at that little red plus five. It's a special one that you can't bank. So probably. which one does it use first? The five or the ten? The five. That, that's good. That makes sense. And you can only go up to plus five. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a sensible system. All right, well, I think that is a pretty damn good place to end the episode. I didn't expect to beat the boss there. Kind of thought it was hopeless until I got some other item or something. But Divine Confetti was the answer. And we also checked out Monkey Way, which is very important. Yes, Monkey Way. So, hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, well, I don't know. There's like five or six different things we can do. Yeah, 